Oh yeah, we're back. And so is Snom, my best friend in the world. Go back with your friends. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be opening Battle Styles. I believe this is... Which one is this? Single Strike? Hmm. I don't know. We're going to find out, though. And next up is going to be whichever one that is. <laughs> the back might tell us, right? Choose your battle style. Which battle style is this? Hmm. We're going to find out. All right. Let's look what we got inside. Typical Lee Trainer Box stuff. Uh, eight packs. There's a picture. And if you're wondering, I do keep sealed product, but uh, I do like to cut some open every now and then. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's do the deed. Deed is done. Let me know. Have you opened any of these? Have you had any success with battle styles? Um, I've seen that the pull rates aren't great and I want to say it might have been intentional you know because it's a deck building set for the actual players from what I heard and um, you know remember people play this game this is this is a playable game what's on the inside okay let's see I wonder if I could undo this yeah okay Guys, take one second. One second. Just hit that thumbs up for me. It's a big help. Believe it or not, my guy, Empoleon. I'm actually quite the fan of Empoleon. I use him on my Pokemon Go uh, Ultra League team. And we got Urshifu. Very cool, actually. I like that. Let's see. Got a guide. Yada, 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 pictures of cards, and we know what we're looking for, right? We want to get that gold hound doom. That's what I would like out of the gold ones. Um, other than that, I, I have no real connection to these Ursifu and whatever. So um, I would like, obviously, this alternate art Tyranitar, the alternate art Empoleon, wouldn't mind the full art, Napoleon. But let's see. We won't know until we try, right? So let's go. Let me know in the comments which card you would like out of this set. I have a feeling a lot of people are going to say the Tyranitar. But that's okay because it's pretty pretty bad. bad. Um, you know what I was going to say. I don't know if I should. I don't know if kids watch this. I don't know if I should. I think about it sometimes. Should I swear? A kid's watching. Is it a problem? Here we go. Okay, we got some dividers. We have the dice, which are a different color this time. And energies and sleeves. Very good. Okay, and I'm going to give away the code card at the end. Um... If I can get it out of here. Okay, so here we go. Those are the last digits. I'm going to give away the rest of the digits at the end. Make you do a little bit of work for it. All right, let's get into these packs. What do you say? Let me get this off screen. Okay, so we got Empoleon. Arshifu, Tyranitar. All right, since... Tyranitar and Empoleon are sort of my guys. These other guys are kind of new. I haven't really played the expansion much. Uh, or at all, rather, I should say. We're going to open these two guys up. Wish us luck if if it goes anything like uh, <laughs> previous Battle Styles videos. I'm going to be sad by the end, but let's hope not, right? Hope for the future here. Here we go. There's a code card for you. We're going to put four to the front. And we're back at it again, folks. Opening packs. It feels good. Psychic Energy. Seedra. Looks like somebody's trying to catch this Seedra. It's probably not a good idea because it is capable of swimming backwards by rapidly flapping its wing-like pectoral fins and stout tail. Interesting. 
Fan of Waves, Rapid Strike, Dotler. So I believe this is the, oh no, I guess they're all mixed. I thought, I thought it would just, one would only have Rapid Strike and one would only have Single Strike. Scatterbug, Hone Edge, just chilling under a tree, about to cut it down. Flygar, Electabuzz, I, I saw this art, I really like this one. This electric Pokemon, while it's often blamed for power outages, the truth is the cause of the outages is more often an error on the part of the electric company. <laughs> That's such an odd thing to put in the bottom. In the reverse slot, Baltoy. And in the back, we have a holographic Houndoom. That's pretty cool. Nice. And look, it's got hollow bleed throughout the card. Do you see that? Cool. All right, bud. You're going in the back. Our first pull. Let's go. Another pack. I like these pack arts, by the way. Very cool. We only have eight packs in here. So don't mind me if I'm taking my time a little bit. Uh, so it will probably be some time this week that I upload the um, next one. There we go. Come on, give me something decent here. Right? Right? Leaf Energy. These weirdos. Swordward and Shieldbird. If I haven't met somebody named Swordward, Bisharp. I actually don't know much about this guy. Violent conflicts erupt between Bisharp and Fracture over places where sharpening stones can be found. So they fight over uh, sharpening stones. What a couple of hardos, dude. Sizzlipede, Shinx, Cacnea. Again, why does Cacnea follow me around? I swear. In the reverse, a roly coly, and in the back, a conkelder. This guy is just an oaf, isn't he? All right, very good. Let's go. It's funny to watch the way some people open packs. They have like these like established, you know, ways that they do it every single time. I should probably do that because sometimes mine doesn't work. There's a code card for you. And four to the front. Come on, bless us, gods of Pokemons. Metal Energy. Urn of Vitality. What's going on there? Huh. Okay. Spupa. Never seen that guy before. Gliscor, looking mean. Baltoy. Gligar. Salandit. Bronzor. Cacnea again. Sent to Scorch in the reverse. And a Drampa. The uh, never ending story dragon. The never ending story. <laughs> Open this stupid pack. Look at it. See, it's an error pack. You see that? It's glue all over it. Ugh. Wow. It's actually making me mad. You don't want to see me when I'm angry, folks. <laughs> Worst pack opening ever. Here we go. For you. Let me know what you get. Okay, can we get something good this time around? Folks, Lightning Energy. Carvinine. Carnivine. Pharaoh. Grumpig. I like this one. So, guys, I was thinking... I'd like to get to 500 subs, and I want to do, this is cool art, Main Fu, and I want to do a big giveaway if, if we can get there, um, and when I say a big giveaway, I mean, you know, I want to give some, some good cards out to some folks. Uh, in the reverse, the Carcoal, and Bolton, another non-holographic uh, in the back. Is this going to be... An upset of an elite trainer box. We shall find out. There we go. Look at that one. I ripped it straight open. Yeah, so if you could, uh, you know, suggest my channel to maybe if you have any friends that are into Pokemon, get them to come over and, and join the. Uh, I haven't come up with a name for. I just want to call you guys Pocket Monsters, honestly. I don't want to do one of the, oh, it's the, it's my clan, you know? I don't know. Just wouldn't seem authentic coming from me. Girder. 
So are there three of them? It's timber, girder, and then the other one. So one lifts beams, one lifts stone, I guess. Oh, there's timber what, right behind. What are the odds? Tepig whipping um, some wood at his senior. Glamyow, Silicobra, Frillish, in the reverse, a horsey. And we got, wow, look at that. We actually got something. I thought we weren't going to get anything in this. This is super cool looking. Single strike Urshifu VMAX. Gigantamax. Wow. That looks super cool. Let's get a sleeve. Yeah, I've heard some mixed things about... It. Not I haven't heard specifically about Elite Trainer Boxes or... But, like, some people told me they opened cases and, you know, barely got any decent pulls at all. But we got a nice pull, folks. For once. Out of all these battle styles we've we've opened up. Let's go to the next pack. We have three left. So, I'm saving my guy Empoleon for the end. Hoping that we might get that alternate art. Here we go. It was weird that I didn't see any of the the shine when I was opening uh, the pack up. Usually you would see a card like that. Fighting energy, how appropriate. Haunch Crow, guys, take a second and just throw a comment down below. Tell me what's up, I wanna talk to you. I guarantee you I'll respond to all of your comments. If you have any questions, even if you think they're dumb questions, put them down below, I'll answer them as best I can. I wanna see what's going on with y'all. I do appreciate you guys, the way you interact with the videos. It really makes a difference, and I do appreciate it. So, wow, I can't believe we got something out of Battle Stars. I'm, I'm like in shock. Super cool looking card, too. He's like menacing in it. The, um, the other version of it also looks cool. I have to get the expansion pack for the game. I, I've never even, I haven't even beaten the game yet, I have to admit. But I'm, I'm meaning to, you know. Um, can we get, can we get something else here? Fire energy. Bruno, looking at his Pokeballs. Mustard, what, what's with this guy's name? I mean, he's obviously like an Asian sensei, right? Why is his name Mustard? Can somebody explain that to me? Or Pekko, stress eating. <clears throat> I don't know what that noise was. Spoink is just in paradise here. Look at this. Isn't he lovely? Roly Coley. Frillish. Esper. Blip Bug. In the reverse. Primate. Nice. I, I like Primate. He's always he's always been uh been the blood vessels in its brain are sturdier than those of other Pokemon, so it can stay healthy despite its constant raging. That may, oh my gosh. Wow. We got the alternate Arshfu V. Look at that. This is when you hear the music go like, bam, 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 bam. Like some al alarms going off, right? Like some rave music. Rapid strike Arshfu V. Look at the back. That's a nice looking card. We're actually getting kind of lucky today. That's uh, unusual. I did get this for retail price too, so the Elite Trainer Box cost me $40. Um, I believe this card's worth maybe 30 or 40 bucks right now, and this guy, I don't know exactly, but I want to say it's similar, like 20-ish, 20-ish dollars, 20 to 30, but wow, I'm excited. In our last pack, can we triple up our poles? I picked this. I was. <laughs> I picked this box because it was a little bit damaged, and I'm keeping the other one sealed for my Elite Trainer box uh, sealed collection. So, I guess I'm glad I picked this one. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Right? Here we go. The code card for you. Let me know what you get down below. And four cards to the front. Let's go, folks, for one last pack of Battle Styles. Until the next video. Please hit that thumbs up if you guys like the video or if you, you know, you're 
wanting something else out of the channel, let me know and I'll I'll do my best. We're gonna have PSA return coming at some point. I don't know when, but I I submitted a big uh, submission in October, and um, it's gonna be fun for for a few videos at least. Mustard in the reverse, and in the back we have a Necrozma V. Never been a huge fan of Necrozma, admittingly. I like how his eyes change color there. Sort of cool. All right, well, let's go through our pulls, shall we? Feel like we did well today. Necrozma, this single strike Urshifu. Let's let's uh, get a little close, close and personal for all the pulls we didn't get in our previous videos, right, guys? I saw you guys empathizing with me in the, the uh, comment section. We actually got super lucky. Look at that. He looks so official. He's like standing on pillars training. Super cool looking card. And uh, the Houndoom single strike. What do you guys think of that stamp? I I like how it, there's hollow bleed through the card. Identifiable by its eerie howls. People... People a long time ago thought it was the Grim Reaper and feared it. Wow, I could see why. So thank y'all very much for watching. This has been Pocket Monster Dom. And I look forward to the next opening. Ciao, Bellas.